everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's a bit crazy <laughs> on me right now. We are going to be introducing two new female guinea pigs into our home tomorrow. So I've just been crazy shopping. We knew that we were going to be adopting two more girls to be friends with Daisy, but we didn't realise it was going to be this soon. And obviously for bonding reasons, stuff like that, you can't just put the guinea pigs in with Daisy. Firstly, that's not how bonding works. Secondly, they need more space than this and so today I'm just going to be going and making the enclosure that's going to go next to this one so basically what's going to happen is we're going to have the two girls living where I'm sat and they are going to be living next to Daisy for about two weeks while they get used to each other we're going to swap over a few of their belongings so they get used to each other's smells and hopefully the bonding process will be a very natural and just quite easy. I've been conversing a lot with the uh, current owner about like the temperaments and stuff like that so fingers crossed we've picked the best matching for Daisy because she really needs a friend. As you may or may not know we rescued Daisy a couple of weeks ago. She was living on wire flooring before and she was given to us as a single pig. So I really appreciate everyone's concerns asking when are you going to get her a friend? And the answer is now. We're getting her a friend now. And we've tried to make it happen as soon as possible because even though she's been here a couple of weeks like you can tell like she's not as active as she should be and she just needs some friends we can't provide that as people they need to be with their own kind in herds so with that being said i'm going to set up everything i've got my diluted vinegar here to like spray the shit out of everything and just get rid of any weird smells i'm also gonna clean out daisy's enclosure just before because i think it's better if they begin with like just a fresh start like both of them so as you can tell daisy is in a two by three right now but actually this is bigger than a two by three these meshes are 40 centimeters so they're actually bigger than the usual cnc cage grids the reason for that is is just it's what i found and i just thought it would be better to have bigger grids, more space, that kind of thing. So even though this is technically the minimum requirement for a guinea pig, it's actually bigger than the minimum because these are bigger grids than what it says on like all of the trusted guinea pig websites. So we are gonna be putting the two girls in the same size. So it is slightly bigger than two by three. And when we put them together, we might put them in a four by three or a three by three. We're not entirely sure yet, it really depends on the space. I think four by three makes a lot of sense to be honest and then they have loads of space together. The bigger the better really, the more space the better. We have this carry case that arrived yesterday, this is what we're going to be collecting the girls in and I've just gone a bit crazy buying stuff. I want to start buying chloroplast, I'm not entirely sure if that's how you say it, like the proper plastic bottoms at some point soon. For now, we're kind of doing this makeshift thing using yoga mats and we've got like a shower curtain thing. And this is exactly the same as what Daisy has as well. And we've got some towels. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm sure you just wanna see me set it up. At least I want to see it set up. I just wanna get everything ready. I've got, everything is brand new, by the way. All of this has never been used, absolutely brand new. I am gonna spray it down with vinegar as well, just to get rid of any weird smells. So hopefully when the girls arrive, they'll feel really comfortable and they can just make their own <laughs> smell. It will become home to them pretty fast. I'm really excited about this. As you know, I really wanna have an animal sanctuary tree in the upcoming years and for me this is the the beginning of it being able to rescue and adopt guinea pigs i love guinea pigs so much they are just bundles of joy uh, i always have loved guinea pigs and in the future i'd love to adopt other animals in need probably farm animals who need a second chance at life yeah so lots to do let's go <laughs>
are done for now. I just have to like clean up all of this and just decide what's happening here. This is just a bottom sheet, a single bottom sheet. I've found they work really well for this kind of like DIY approach. I've just started sewing, so I really want to make my own things and like adjust this. I can like cut it down size. This is the enclosure. This is their new house. And I think I'm gonna move the flowers just across because then they both get flowers and it's quite cute. But yeah, I've purposely put the water quite close. I'm gonna replace Daisy's bottle with a brand new one. This is just the one that she was given, but it's so old. We'll just replace that this evening and I'll, I'll take you along for that as well. But basically all I've got here is some fresh pads. I've got the food and the litter next to daisies and they're all going to be together so it's just kind of getting them used to like doing these things together even though they're going to be bar buddies and hopefully uh that will just kind of break down any walls like initial walls i wanted to get another litter tray like what daisy has what daisy's in right now but um they didn't have any so i've just put this tub down and hopefully they're not gonna have a hard time jumping into it if not they can eat around it until i can get a better alternative this is what they're going to be living in for the first two-ish weeks this wall disappears in two weeks um after we do like the bonding we're going to put them in a room that they've never been in before and we're just going to let them talk it out and become friends and um hopefully it will all go really well and then daisy and the girls can have this wall removed and then they'll have all of this space this is loads of space for three guinea pigs it's really good so i think they'll have a really great time living together i've got some stuff that i need to do but then when i get back it's probably going to be a bit darker but we're going to swap out daisy's house so she's all fresh for her new girlfriends tomorrow tomorrow morning we are going to go collect them me and jun are going to go together tomorrow so you'll see us hanging out they live about an hour and a half away so it's not a not a short trip at all, um, but we do have this doggy bag. It is for dogs, uh, but I bought it because it's big and uh, it should fit two pigs in. It's, it's just for a short amount of time. Daisy's one was just way too small for two piggies, so I just bought another one. Okay, I'm gonna go clean up and I'll see you in a bit when we do Daisy's house. It's a bit Hello everybody, and it's a bit later now. As you can probably tell, it's dark now. Yeah, I've come into a little bit of a dilemma not a massive biggie but um daisy is probably not gonna like it anyway um so i've realized while i was uh doing daisy's dinner this evening that i had to climb right over to the back to try and get the bowl it was really hard and i had to like clamber over this thing and i was like i'm not doing this every day uh twice a day <laughs> so what i'm gonna need to do is actually just move this whole thing just over a bit so i can like shuffle down the side otherwise daisy's gonna be freaked out every day aren't you darling hello hello sweetie looks like it she ate it so fast i can't believe it and then once i've moved it all over i'm going to do a enclosure change for daisy so that she's all nice and fresh for tomorrow Oh my god. Okay, let's have a little chat about what's happened. So that was possibly the hardest enclosure change I've ever done. So I need to get a better system, definitely. But I'm not so worried. I think for a first try, it was okay. 
Daisy was proper freaked, as you probably saw, she was really not happy. Usually Jun is here, he'll hold her or we'll do it together and I just I just didn't want to put her in her travel case because it's so small and I just felt just feel sorry for her. Although in hindsight, I don't know if I feel sorry for her more dealing with the stress of that. I do want to go on to like proper CNC cages, so I want to have the chlor chloroplast, I think it's called on the bottom. I also want to rise raise these. I want them to be up one more and we'll put all the guinea pig storage underneath then I don't have to go into this cupboard all the time. The other option is to take these doors off and put the pigs more into the cupboard with the risen house and the storage underneath. I think that is probably what I'm working towards because then we'll have loads of space and like put up some fairy lights in there as well so they'll get half natural lighting and then half fairy lights. As you can see, this is a work in progress right now. I'm thinking of just cutting a hole in this box over here, making that into more of a house than a tunnel because the tunnel is not really staying together very well. I've also got all of these little clips that are from the shower curtains and you can just like unhook them quite easily like this. And so I'm thinking if I could get some of these towels maybe and just make some holes and we can make some new hideys that way and then we don't have the problem of like cardboard taking up space. I do want to get them some really cute beds at some point. I'm debating if I want to try making them or if I should just suck it up and buy some because I've seen some amazing ones online and I definitely want to treat them at some point. It's actually these two girls' birthday coming up in April so it might be a nice birthday present for them but I will buy some for Daisy as well of course so we can all celebrate. Daisy's birthday is unknown so maybe they can share a birthday. So yeah they've got all these new Disney mats as well which are really really cute and there's one missing from this house because it's in the travel case. I thought let's put it in the travel case it can kind of get their smell on it and then we'll put it into this house and then they have something that already smells of them and also smells of this house a bit so they'll have like the the combination of smells and hopefully it'll just help them settle in a little bit but yeah i definitely need to rethink the system of how this is going to work and i know that it's a work in progress like i'm very much at the start of my guinea pig journey but I want it to be amazing for these girls. I want them to have the best life ever and I don't want them to freak out every time I clean their enclosure. So I, I do think this risen up is better potentially and also maybe put into the cupboard. While I'm here, let's talk a little bit about the girls who are coming tomorrow about their background because as you probably know already, Daisy came from a very unfortunate background where she was living on wire flooring and her feet are all like messed up from it. But they're, they're healing, they are healing very slowly, but they're just so swollen still, even now. And when she came to us, she was like covered in like dried urine and poo and she just smelled horrible, didn't you darling? Like you were not in a good way. You were very, you're a bit smaller than you are now. She's become a bit chunky since she's been with us, but she's still, a very normal weight so that's great although you wouldn't think it by the amount that she eats the cage was very small as well i'll put up some photos so you can see what kind of things she was dealing with like no toys just like a bit of hay just wire flooring like and she lived like that i'm assuming for her whole life and she's at least two years old if not older i'm glad i'm glad that she's here with us and that she can just live on fleece and just potter around and be happy and just have space. As for these two girls that are joining us, they have come from a really nice background, I'm really happy to say. I was looking for kind of worst case scenarios when we decide to like actually expand into a sanctuary. I will be looking for the worst case scenarios and I will be rescuing the pigs that are in need most. However, these two girls are coming from a really nice family with children and basically been living in something like this, I believe, like a DIY enclosure. And so hopefully it's not going to be too much of a big change to them. I think the biggest change is probably going to be the YouTube videos and having to deal with me sitting and chatting all the time. <laughs> it's all part of it. I really want to document this journey because 
if it helps me to be able to create a sanctuary in the future that would be like my ultimate dream but also just for myself it's really nice to watch this journey and even just in a few weeks see how much see how far Daisy has come so these two girls are coming from a very nice background I'm really glad to say they come from a family of like seven eight eight guinea pigs and I think they started with just a couple of guinea pigs and then realized one of them was pregnant and then obviously they had loads of babies and we are getting some of the babies and I think they are they're less than two years old anyway I was talking back and forth with their current parents about which guinea pigs would be best fitted because I said like Daisy's here by herself she really needs a friend like can you help and so she has picked out um, what she thinks will be the most suitable to guinea pigs and hopefully they'll just get along really well and I think in hindsight I'm kind of glad these pigs aren't coming from a really bad background so they're already quite socialized and so hopefully the bonding process will be really good and Daisy will just have to adjust. I wonder if we had a load of pigs from quite a bad background if they would struggle with the bonding. I don't know, I don't really know anything about that would be interesting to find out about how their socialization changes if it does let me know in the comments if you do know because that would be interesting to know about let me take you along and we will see you tomorrow hello everyone it's the next day i've got little daisy on my lap here it's just coming up to maybe half nine i just wanted to share some good news um it's not really the topic of this video, but I'm just so glad. So as you know, I've been coconut oiling Daisy's feet like every single day because she's been struggling a lot with really dry, swollen feet from being on wires for so long before. And um, today is the first big noticeable difference. She's really not that dry anymore. Her feet are starting to soften up. And so we're just having our last cuddles as a single pig before we go collect her friends in a bit. Jun's just making coffee for us. So yeah, I just wanted to share that update. It's just such a relief that she's finally becoming a healthy, normal guinea pig again. Hopefully when she gets her girlfriend, she's going to become much more animated as well. So I'm really excited to see how today goes. Piggies, you might be able to hear them. Daisy. I think Daisy knows that she's not alone here. So we've just got back from collecting the piggies and that was a real hard journey because it was just raining the whole time, but we made it back. Oh. Did you just <laughs> put your hand in we? So this caused the shadow. Jin just got real over himself. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say before I start babbling? You got family. We're a family of five now. Um. Um. <laughs> One hour later. I love you. Oh, I love you too.
I'm really glad that we are parents together. Yes. Nick. We have three babies. We have three babies now. The two new ones are gonna live in here and Daisy's still in here. Daisy's proper freaked as usual. Mm. She's freaked out. I think she understands that she's not the only piggy in this room right now. So before we put the new pigs in, I want to just put some hay and some food in there bowls in their tray and we've also got some pea flakes so we can maybe try these in a bit when they're a bit more like oh hello oh, this one. you don't even like these we bought these for daisy and she won't even touch them do you want to try it mm -hmm. Shut you. <laughs> what, what was the reaction hello what's this one what's this one Put a load of fresh hay. Smells <laughs> good, Oh yeah, so we've been thinking about names as well. We're not entirely decided yet, but we like the names Poppy and Rosie. Maybe those are potential names, right? Mm. But we're not sure. But we want to keep like the theme flowers. <laughs> Daisy, you've had your pellets today. I'll give you a couple though. Yeah, so cute. Um, should we do the big reveal? Uh, the piggies in the house. Let's enjoy the piggy life. I second that. You ready to meet your sisters? Where's the pellets? Where's the pellets? Okay, so this is piggy oh. number one going into her house. Um, you go. Straight into my little house. This is piggy number two. Piggy number two. Look at Daisy. New friend. New friend. Come on. Oh, she's exploring. Never seen a guinea pig in her whole life, it seems. It's like, what is this? Daisy, honey, you've got some sisters. This one is just frozen. <laughs> like, she's so soft, Jinkwin. She's such a soft little girl. Can I? Yeah. So, she's actually the brave one. sisters already. So exciting. <laughs> Daisy, let, let me in. so lovely to see these three just being in each other's spaces. I know Daisy is feeling very left out right now. It's not for long, it's not for that long anyway. <laughs> she 
She just wants to be included, bless her. She's desperate to go over there. So I'm just gonna update you a little bit. As you can see, everyone's very happy tucking into their dinner. Even Daisy is taking next door's hay. I'm really, really happy with how everything's gone. Daisy is desperate to get next door. She really wants to hang out with the girls. I feel like she's just not seen guinea pigs for many, many years, if ever. <laughs> she's really come out of her shell since these two have arrived, so I'm really grateful. But these two little new girls are absolutely wonderful. They are so cute and they actually already look like sisters. Like if you look at the three of them, they all look very similar, <laughs> um, which is just wonderful. They're just, you know, made to be, made to be sisters. Settling in took a few hours, I think. The girls decided to stay in their little houses for a couple of hours and just kind of cool off. It, it was a long day for them, it really was. Daisy was just so excited to have some girlfriends. She still is, although the chaos has kind of calmed down now, which is great. The only thing is these two girls aren't really touching their veggies yet, but Daisy did this when she arrived as well. She didn't really eat many vegetables. So I'm not too worried at this point. I'm just gonna let them kind of work it out for themselves. They're just so cute and I can't wait for them to hang out together. I'm gonna do a bit more research on bonding. I already have done my fair share, but I just wanna be sure that I do everything right. These girls, I want them to just have the best time ever. Yeah, now they're starting to come out their shell a bit, which is lovely. They've eaten out of my hand, which is great. The little uh, fluffy one in the litter tray took some pea flakes earlier. So everything's going well. Like, yeah, couldn't be happier. And I just hope that things will continue to go really well. Thank you so much for being part of this guinea pig journey. If you like this, oh, is that a little popcorn? <laughs> if you want to see more guinea pig content in the future, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. We are really happy to have you here. Thank you for watching. Say bye, girlies.